Hey young minds, future leaders and learners, I am Anil sir, your guide at Student Care Center. Get ready to embark on an exciting learning adventure with us. Our videos are packed with knowledge, fun and everything in between. So sit back, relax and let's dive into the world of education together. Let's get started. Have you ever felt left out or excluded in a group? Now imagine that on a societal level. What does it mean to be socially marginalized? Let's unravel this together. Marginalization is a complex issue, a process if you will, where certain individuals or groups are pushed to the edges of society, they're rendered insignificant, without a voice or place in the mainstream. Imagine living in a world where you're constantly overlooked, your needs ignored, and your existence barely acknowledged. Sounds harsh, right? Consider those who live in extreme poverty, struggling to make ends meet, or ethnic minorities who face discrimination just because they're different. Think about differently abled individuals who are often left out because society fails to accommodate their needs. It's a harsh reality, but it's true. These are just a few examples of social marginalization, a reality many face daily. It's not just a concept, but a lived experience that demands our attention and action. Marginalization is not just a concept, but a reality that many face daily. Among the marginalized, we find the Adivasis, India's indigenous people. But who exactly are they? The Adivasis are a diverse group of tribal societies, rich in culture and history, who have lived in India for thousands of years. They have a deep connection with nature and their traditions and practices are often closely tied to their local environment. Yet in today's society, they frequently find themselves marginalized. Many people hold stereotypes about the Adivasis, picturing them as primitive or uncivilized. This couldn't be further from the truth. These stereotypes not only misrepresent the Adivasis's rich culture and history, but also contribute to their social exclusion. Moreover, development projects often displace Adivasis from their ancestral lands, pushing them further to the margins of society. This displacement often comes without proper compensation or provision for their future. The Adivasis, despite being the original inhabitants, often find themselves on the outskirts of society due to stereotypes and development agendas. Minorities by their very nature are often marginalized. But why is this the case? The answer isn't simple and it's often steeped in history, societal norms and political climates. Let's take a closer look. In India, for instance, Muslims who form a significant minority face a multitude of challenges. These range from discrimination and prejudice to a lack of representation in various facets of society. Discrimination may manifest in many ways, such as unequal access to resources, exclusion from social circles, or even hate crimes. Prejudice, too, is a major player, fueled by stereotypes and bias that can lead to a deep-seated mistrust. The lack of representation only adds to the problem, creating a cycle where minority voices are often unheard, their needs unmet, and their rights overlooked. This lack of representation can be seen in various sectors, from politics and media to education and employment. Marginalization of minorities is a deep-rooted issue that needs addressing. So, what have we learned about marginalization? We've journeyed through the nuances of what it means to be socially marginalized, exploring the lives of Adivasis and how stereotyping and development affects them. We've also delved into the marginalization of minorities and Muslims, understanding the different facets of their experiences. It's clear that marginalization is a complex issue, deeply intertwined with our society. It's not a distant concept, but a harsh reality for many. Understanding this is the first step towards change, but don't stop here. Continue to learn, engage in conversations, ask questions, challenge stereotypes and misconceptions. Remember, change begins with understanding. If you want to delve deeper into this topic or need help with any related subject matter, don't hesitate to reach out to Anal Sir at Students Care Center, phone number 999906096. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and leave a comment. Together, we can make a difference.